So it's been about a week since this game has launched and a lot of things have happened since then. Made a lot of progress, a lot of equipment farming, a lot of different priorities. For me personally, I know I've done a lot of rolling and so today I just wanted to do kind of like a progress check-in with all of you guys. Hi, welcome back to another Revive Witch video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be doing a progress check-in, kind of like seeing where I'm at for every different piece of content. And then really, I want to compare against you guys, where you guys are up to, because I know there are a couple of mad lads that are at like level, level 38 or something. I'm only at level 31. And so yeah, in this video, I want to compare like boxes. I want to compare how far we've pushed in content. I want to see your equipment. I want to know about your experience in PvP. I want to know if you have been able to clear broken lands and all of that kind of jazz and so with that being said let's get into the content all right my dude so let me show you guys my box first of all so these are all of the dolls that i have collected over these few days and so just for context i re-rolled for tonel as well as like an assassin chick this one over here shuffle i actually didn't re-roll because i didn't want to lose my cbt account i am a i'm a massive collector and so like the border frames and all of that like i'm a sucker for that stuff and so yeah, that's how I ended up with the Tornel as well as the Shuffle. And so just in terms of SSRs, I did manage to pick up the Ushpia as well as the Maya. And so I think for Mercury Mages, I am most certainly set. On the other hand, for my URs, I do have the Amanami, I have the Selanya, the uh, Gorveig, the Ella as well as the Akasha. So for the Ella, I did get her from the Battle Pass, so I did not have to roll for her. For Gorveig, I was actually spooked by her. She consumed my guaranteed pity that I was saving for the pillow. And then on top of that, I got another dupe of her, which was actually infuriating. As for the Selenia, I did get her at about like 30 pulls on her limited banner, and so that was quite nice. And then the Amanami, I went really, really deep for the Muneer, and I couldn't get her. I just got spooked by the Amanami. And so the last unit I wanted to talk about is the Akasha. Akasha did me the big spook on the Pillow Banner. And so the Pillow Banner is up right now. It is what I have dumped all of my currencies into. And so as you guys can see up here, I have absolutely nothing left to roll for. Guys, <laughs> look at this. I got screwed, guys. That's that's really the only way that I can put it. I got really, really freaking screwed for this Aphelin banner. It is what it is. I still have about like maybe two days to find like eight pulls to make sure I do get this Aphelin because if she gets away without me getting her on that guaranteed pull, like I will end it. I will end it all, my guys. But yeah, that's the state of my pulls. I believe I've done about 292 pulls plus these eight. I will have done 300 pulls. And so hopefully I can pull together some of those jemmies to be able to guarantee the Aphelin. Like, come on, eight pulls in like 48 hours? Surely, surely, right guys? All right, and so with that being said, I wanna show you guys my equipment because my equipment is probably what is most lacking in my account. And so my dudes, welcome to my poor excuse of an equipment box. So as you can see, the highest level things I do have is the level 30 purple gear. However, today I have started farming the level eight equipment gear for the destroyers because I wanted to juice up my Ella in preparation for Broken Lands. I think that she is quite a solid character. And guys, in terms of Broken Lands, we will talk about that in a sec, but like I I'm having a lot of trouble clearing Broken Lands. Like, let me put it that way. Honestly, no Aphelin has really, really crippled me, but I I'm sure there's a way around it. I I that's why I'm trying to build the Ella. I think that Ella may be the answer, but like Aphelin, <laughs> She is 100% the answer. And so yeah, here is my really, really pitiful box. As you can see, I do have five of these like rainbow items. However, of these five, only one of them has an effect. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure of if this effect is actually good or not. You guys let me know what you think about this axe. I looked at it and I was like, this kind of looks good for Ella. But if it's not, then let me know and I will just put it into the trash can. So yeah, like I said, I've been putting all of my stamina into farming the Destroyer Stage 8, like the hardest stage to be looking for this legendary gear. And so I only started doing this when I believe two of my dolls were A4. And so as you can see, my Tornel as well as my Ella, they are A4 and they are the only ones. I think I've realized how important endgame gear is, especially in the context of the Broken Lands. And so with that being said, let's go on to have a look at my base. And so guys, as you can see, my base is actually maxed out after a week. But honestly, even if you guys have not been refreshing too much, like you guys should be very, very close to this. As long as you guys have been like kind of paying attention to the Firefly lamp stand and remembering that there is a plus button over here to like increase the capacity of the total Fireflies. And so for some reason, I have a straight Firefly over there. Let me just dispatch you and there we go. And so I guess the key call out about like this whole base system is that this mirror is actually pretty cracked. The fact that we we can earn these jemmies, these souls from the mirror of the other world. 
I, I love it. Like this is probably one of the strongest free to play factors of Revive Witch right now. Just from this mechanic itself, I'm pretty sure it like it dramatically boosts our free to play income. But otherwise that's kind of it for the base, like uh, the cottage. I'm not a massive fan of the cottage and like the whole stamina system. There are some other games that require a lot more aggressive like base management and this is not one of them. So I, I, I let it slide. All right, and so with that being said, let's start talking about the content itself. And so actually, before we go there, I wanna talk about refreshing because I've talked about it a couple of times today. And so for the first like one or two days, I did not refresh, but from then on, I refreshed maybe like twice a day. And then only recently when I hit this like kind of equipment block that I start refreshing a lot more. I'm talking like five to six times a day. And honestly, I don't know if it's the right move, but it's, it's actually really because of that tree, that mirror that I showed you guys before. When I saw this income, I was like, Holy heck, uh, maybe I can actually fast track my progression a little bit. And considering how hard it is to actually get legendary gear in this game, I think it's kind of worth it. I don't know guys, you, you let me know what you think about all of this. I'm still not 100% sure as to like whether refreshing so hard is actually the right answer. Anyway, so that's like kind of what I've been doing. I think I might go back to like maybe two to three refreshes a day, but we'll see how hard I cry over the story mode or like the broken lands and I might just dump even more stamina in and, and more jammies. All right, so this time for real, we are going into adventure. I'm gonna show you my progress for all of the actual gameplay. So I have finished all of the four chapters it did get a little bit hard at the end but like it wasn't too bad i think that for 420 ascension 4 recommended level 5 it's, it's actually quite a fair assessment. I, I really like the story. I really want to see what's going on next. But we all know that like typically speaking, the story is going to be easy peasy. So let's have a look at the dimensional trials. And so first off, we have Evil Return. So as you can see, I was able to clear Death Scythe up to Nightmare 3. However, I am struggling with the rest of it, but that may be because I... <laughs> I have really, really crappy team comps right now. I've just kind of been running like the Tornel, the Luan, and the Witch because that's just what I've been running since the start. But now that I do have like the Tornel and Ella plus Witch combo and like I'm trying to get the Aphelin, and so therefore I can use Aphelin, Ashpia, and Amanami, I think I can really, really push these. But this is kind of like where I'm at without all of those like really busted team comps. Yes, my guys, I am struggling with the Bear as well as the Protector, Cersei V. Look guys, they're hard. There's something about the Ice element that I just can't deal with 230.3 seconds like you can already tell that i freaking uh tank cheesed it store cheesed it all right and so moving on let's have a look at the chronospace breach so just wanted to quickly talk about this and like my experience with it for me personally i have two a4s and i use my witch as well who can't go to a4 right now and generally speaking i win about like 90 percent of the time so every day i may lose like one match something like that right typically speaking the really hard matchups are not like the ones like this but like maybe actually even this one this one might screw me really really hard it's the ultra ultra tanky ellas that you just cannot get past and then like they out heal you when the healing has been taken away and then eventually she aoe's you until you die and then it is just sad boy times from there and so generally speaking i do hit comps like this the mercury comps there are like they are okay even if they are like the perfect team the burst mode is just so freaking big but when i see teams like this with the big fat juicy Ella, oh my god, look at all that legendary equipment. Like I would refresh right past this as well as the passive. The biggest thing is the passive. Oh my god, this is so annoying actually. But yeah, otherwise I think my PvP experience has been pretty decent. I, like I said, win about 90% of the time. And so yeah, with that being said, let's move on to the last one. The last thing I wanna talk about today, which is the Broken Lands. And so my dudes, as you can see, I have not cleared a single stage in Broken Lands yet. This is probably where I'm gonna be finding my jemmies for like the next few pulls to be able to get the Aphelin. But yeah, last week I couldn't finish the area four, so this guy over here. But this week, to be honest, I am still finding comps for you guys. I am still trying to find what exactly works as well as being low rarity clears. But I do wanna curb your expectations because it, it's been really hard. Uh, there aren't really that many, if any, low rarity clears for this week's Broken Lands. And so that's kind of what triggered me to actually go and farm the equipment for each of my dolls because remember guys the equipment can actually be transferred between each of your dolls and so i think at a certain point if you're able to get like all level 50 of like the legendary gears i reckon that we'll be able to actually just straight up stat check all of the different floors and so yeah again like either full gold or full legendary level 40 or level 50 get three sets of those and then use the standard comps you want like your luan you want your tanks that can actually take all of the damage
damage onto themselves. Athelin's another one. And then with all of that foundation, I reckon we'll be able to clear all of those different broken lands, not only this week, but from now onwards. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't do any cheeses. I, I just have not found anything. All right, other than that, let me have a look at the shop. Uh, I think I haven't bought overly much. I did buy the growth package, which was insane value, if we can call it that. And then in terms of packs, I have gotten a couple of the different ones just because I've been so freaking desperate for the Aphelin. And so as you can see, I do have a backup plan, which is to spend some of my growth fund into these guys, but I really don't want to because I really, 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 really want to buy these skins like oh my god but aside from the paid currency uh in terms of these guys i have bought out the soul cryolites and on top of that i've also maxed out the amount of gold petals that i could buy however this was only really possible because i did dump like 292 rolls into the gacha and so i got a lot of these petals back and so you'll notice that I bought out the furniture coins. That's just because I really like furniture stuff. That, that's really it. And hopefully one day I will be able to deck out my house. And so let's have a look at Golden Petal. And so as you can see, I did buy out a whole bunch of Soul Cryolites. This might be my plan C or my plan B, depending on what happens. But realistically speaking, I really do want to save these Golden Petals for whoever is coming into the shop next month. All right, and so moving on, Friendship Points. I think these are like, these are really easily earnable. Furniture, same, same. And then over here, we've got the Trials. So the dollar equipment so this this currency is dropped from like the equipment stage every single clear of the level eight of the equipment stage any one of them gets you 23 of these currencies and so for me personally like in terms of priority between all of these different items i think that the advanced runestone is number one top priority and so the reason is because not only is this thing so scarce but it also gives a small chance of adding new attributes so like your item has two lines of stats this thing could get you that third line of stats and so we can only buy one of these once per week, I believe. Yeah, remaining one over here. And it freaking costs 800 of these guys. So you can already imagine it, it's, it's going to take us about like 40 runs, I think. At 23 of these currencies rewarded per run. Yeah, it's going to take about 35 to 40. And so depending on how hard I go on equipment, like I'm I'm for sure going to get this every week. However, I think that the next biggest priority is this guy over here, which is so, so massive, the legendary equipment box. And so this bad boy is holding all of like probably what I would call the best items in the game. Like look at that, orderly fashion, one piece set, increases damage and healing effect of the skill by 3% for every point of order energy gained. This is just like straight up massive scaling buffs. Like, oh my God, it's so awesome. I wish I had some of these guys. However, what you do need to know about this box is that I believe only half of them have that effect. So as you can see, like this Aud Holma, the Lightborn, it does not have the effect. But if I have a look at the other sword, Defense Leader, it does have the effect. And so yeah, that's the goal. After I've cleared out that one rock thing, I want to be pulling on this equipment box as much as I can. And then hopefully with a couple of good sets of this legendary equipment, I'll be able to just like steamroll all of the different content that is about to come. I don't know about you guys, but I love cheesing things. I love making things super, super easy, especially if it's with low rarities. But my dudes, with that being said, I think that's it for like the tour. There's not too much left to talk about. And so I want to like pass off this question to you guys. I want you guys to let me know how you're doing with progression, what level you're at, how much you're refreshing, how many URs have you gotten? Have you been screwed like me for this freaking banner? The the Aphelin, come on, come on, Aphelin, please. How many jemmies you have saved up? Have you finished all of the different contents? Were you able to do the broken lands completely last week? Can you do it again this week? Let me know because it's always really interesting to see what everyone else is doing. Like I can only see what I'm doing. So I don't really know if I'm like behind or far or actually not in the race at all. Because at this point in the game, it is still very much a single player game. And so honestly, it's pretty okay to be going at your own pace. And so my guys, let me know how you guys are doing in a comment down below. And if you guys do end up doing that, I would really appreciate it because it means that you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if you guys did enjoy this video or it did kind of help you, I don't know if it really would, then please consider a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe as well. But otherwise, my fellow witches, as Amanami once said, she, she freaking spooked me on all of my banners. Not only that, but she also said that all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.